In this video, I'm going to show you what to do if your PS5 HDMI port stops working. It turns out that this problem is over time becoming a bit more common than expected, so I wanted to show you a few things that you can try to fix it before sending it into Sony for repairs. Now the bad news is that if this does happen to your PS5, then chances are you will end up having to replace the HDMI port. But before you send it in, make sure to try all of these things first because it is possible that you might be one of the lucky ones. The first step is to eliminate user error and make sure that your TV or monitor is on the correct input. Try switching to a different HDMI port or even swap out the HDMI cables to see if it makes a difference. The next step would be to plug in and test a completely different HDMI compatible device and if that also doesn't work you'll know it's an issue with your output device and not the PS5 itself. Now assuming that you've narrowed down the issue directly to your PS5 you can try reconnecting the system and starting the console into safe mode. You can do this by holding down the power button until the system beeps twice. Now if the safe mode menu appears on screen, then congratulations, you're in luck because the problem is most likely an issue with your video output settings and not the HDMI port. However, if the safe mode menu is nowhere to be seen, then it looks like you will be sending in your PS5 to Sony for repairs or a replacement. The only other thing worth trying would be switching to a different TV or monitor and cleaning the HDMI port itself, but even then the chances are that it won't do anything. If you do happen to be lucky and the safe mode menu appears on screen, the first thing would be to try switching your resolution settings settings to automatic and see if that fixes the problem. If the issue still persists, you can try starting back into safe mode and switching your HDCP settings to 1.4 only. Lastly, if this still does not work, try restarting back into safe mode one last time and restore your PS5 to its default settings. Keep in mind that doing this will not delete any save data such as games or applications, so it is perfectly safe to do at any time. But that's just about everything that you can do to help fix a faulty PS5 HDMI port before you send it into Sony for repairs. Leave a like rating if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next